Beast Academy or The Good and the Beautiful Simply Math. Which one's better? We're gonna let you decide. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, I make videos to help you on your homeschooling journey. One of the main subjects what we look into when homeschooling is math. And today I'm going to give you guys a peek into two very popular maths that have been two of our favorites, which are Beast Academy Math and the Good and the Beautiful Simply Math. Let's start with Beast Academy Math. I'm gonna flip the camera over and get actually show you guys both of these curriculums so that you can see what the difference is between the two of them, any pros and cons. This is all in my opinion. Um, we have used both of these. We did choose one over the other, but that's another video. So, so in today's video, I just wanna share with you both of the different types of math and let you decide for yourself which one you like better in case you were on the fence or which one to choose. On Beast Academy's website, it claims that we are all math beasts. We were just not born that way. It was meant to spark the aha moments in math and to ignite the joy of problem solving for the next generation of intellectual leaders. You can choose between two different formats in Beast Academy. You have the workbooks, which look like comic books, but we chose to do the online version. So that's the one I will be able to show you guys a little bit of today. What sets Beast Academy math apart from other maths is their interactive online program, as well as the comic book style lessons. So the lessons are taught with little math bees, which are like little monsters, and they have their lessons in conversational form. So it's kind of, it's in like a comic book, which is awesome. And it really gets the kids to understand the math in a better way because they're engaged and they're having fun while they're learning their lessons. It doesn't, it's nothing like a textbook at all. What levels does Beast Academy have? Beast Academy has levels one through five, although those are not equivalent to your grade level. Your child is most likely gonna start at a level below their grade. I want you to keep in mind that Beast Academy was made for gifted math students, so it is not for everyone. If you find it that your child is having a hard time with Beast Academy math, it just might not be the right fit. It is meant to be a program for gifted math students. With that being said, level five goes from ages 11 to 13, and when they're done level five, they are ready for pre-algebra, which they can then jump onto the art of problem solving, which has their pre-algebra, algebra, and statistic courses. Now, depending on the rigor of the program that you use, your child could actually be ready for algebra one when they're done with Beast Academy. There's no parent involvement needed. You can literally just sit your child in front of the computer, they will have the lessons there for them. The only time that you would need to be involved, obviously, is if they don't understand a concept. However, there is a place on the website where you can go if your problem is if your child is having a problem, and it will give you the answers and give you the, a way to teach them how to get the correct answer. They teach things so differently than other math, so it's, it would be hard for you to just jump in and help them in the way that they're learning. So they do give you a guide to help you to help your child. Also, when they're logging into their program, it feels like they're playing an actual math game. They get to create their, they get to earn points and create their little math beasts themselves, which is like their icon that they get to use which makes it a lot more fun for the kids. They get to learn stars as they're learning their math and the, the amount of stars that they get tells you as a parent how well they're doing. You also get progress reports, testing reports, and all of that which you're able to print out at the end of the school year and put it into your homeschool portfolio. The downside for me for Beast Academy is that it is missing cumulative reviews and assessments. My son was doing Beast Academy and he was having a trouble because it is considered a mastery course, which means it does not go back and continue to review concepts that were already taught. So if you're interested more about why we stopped using Beast Academy, check out the video in the card above. But that does not mean that it's not a great program. I have lots of friends who continue to use it and their kids are doing amazing. It all depends on your child. Another con for me was that there were 12 levels per year and each level took a full month having to do about five lessons a week now we have a homeschool co-op so we only homeschool four days a week and we're we don't homeschool 12 months out of the year so it was hard to complete a full year worth of beast academy in, in a year because we weren't doing math every single 
day or in every single month of the year. With Beast Academy Math, students learn higher order reasoning skills and how to think critically, not just how to memorize. Beast Academy is great for teaching problem solving and the students regularly tackle tough problems. In doing so, they gain a skill stack that extends far beyond math alone. They gain resilience, creativity, and perseverance that can be used in any field of study. There's about 20,000 plus games and problem solving activities online, so your kids are never gonna get bored with this math. Common Core. Beast Academy loosely follows the Common Core curriculum. Some skills are taught before Common Core, and a few of the Common Core standards are missing. So if that's important to you, that's something you want to think about. Let's look at the pricing for Beast Academy Math. You can have a monthly subscription for $15 a month. That way you don't have a commitment and you can pay month. That's for one student. Each additional student would be $10 a month. Or you can do the yearly subscription, which is $96 a year. So that would be $8 a month, but it's billed annually. Additional students would be $60 a year. Now let's jump into the Good and the Beautiful, Simply Good and Beautiful Math. The Good and the Beautiful Math is not an online program. It is a, I'm not gonna say textbook because it's not really a textbook, but it is a, a book program. But from grades four and up, which is right now they have levels four through six, they create a new level every year. They do have online video lessons, but the lesson is also in the book. So if you don't have access to the internet that day, maybe you're traveling, other kids are doing lessons in the car, they can still do their math because the lesson, there's a mini lesson in the book itself. Whereas in Beast Academy, you need to have a monthly subscription and your internet is down, if your electricity is out, if there's a storm, your kid can just, it's not going to do, be able to do math on that day. The educational approach of Simply Good and Beautiful Math is very eclectic. It helps children master basic problem solving skills and math facts while also teaching conceptual understanding and mathematical reasoning. It uses a spiral approach, teaching a concept, then revisiting it and expanding upon it bit by bit. The spiral approach also helps build in continual review of previously taught concepts. In addition, the last section of most lessons, beginning with first grade, is labeled as review. Does it follow Common Core? The Simply Good and Beautiful Math does not follow Common Core at all. It is not considered above grade level, it is considered on grade level as well. The Simply Good and the Beautiful Math has 120 lessons, so you can totally finish this in once less than a school year. You don't have to worry about doing math five days a week. You can have your fun Friday or have your COA homeschool co-op day and not worrying about having to squeeze math in every single day. So that is definitely a plus. All of the lessons are divided into either three or four units. The lessons have lots of variety incorporating many different methods of learning, such as working with manipulatives, viewing visual representations of manipulatives, games, brief stories, and puzzles. Levels one, two, and three, and, and level and the kindergarten level all have manipulative boxes, which have little pieces and parts that you can use to play the games and the, the hands-on activities for your child's math lessons. Course books are illustrated, mostly with drawings of children with a lot of attention given to diversity. The stories within the lessons stress positive character traits and virtues. There is very minimal Christian content. When Bible references or verses are included, they are from the King James Version. As of right now, the Good and the Beautiful has level pre-K through six. But like I said before, they do release a level every year. Let's talk about the pricing for Simply Good and Beautiful Math. You only have to pay $50 to $60 um, per course per year. And you can also download the courses online for free and then purchase the, any manipulatives that you have, like the manipulative boxes for grades K through three, you can add that on extra. But if you wanted, if you didn't want the actual book, you could just actually download the math for free. The Good and the Beautiful really strives to get their curriculum in the hands of anyone, so they don't want to make it pricey and they do have digital downloads for most of their things for language arts and math on their website. The only con that I would say for this, well, I wouldn't say it, I, to me it's a, it's a bonus, but my son would say the con for the Good and the Beautiful math is that the, there's a lot of problems he feels and then you have the review and he feels like the review is redundant that he already knows it and like why do I have to do it but to me that's a great thing because when he was doing another math he wasn't retaining the information 
but with the spiral approach he is. So if he's telling me he knows it already, then to me that's not a con, that's a pro. So what do you think? Beast Academy or Good and the Beautiful, simply Good and Beautiful Math? They're both great programs. I wanted to share both of them side by side with you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.